Hi, I'm Diana Cohen. I'm from Glamorous, New Jersey. I'm 17 years old and I'm applying to Clive Davis as a producer entrepreneur. If I touch you, will you break? Or is it too cold to stray from the past? Right now, I actively am playing guitar, bass, flute, and piccolo. I'd say my favorite is kind of a toss up between flute and bass. I play flute with my school's concert band and marching band and piccolo too. And that's something I like to play a lot more in a classical setting. Bass, I like to play when I'm like jamming with friends or like in jazz band. My mom listened to a lot of um, the Rolling Stones and their moans and that sort of like edgier type of stuff. I was really into Green Day. Um, I went to my first Green Day concert in first grade, dressed as the lead singer with <laughs> a button down shirt and a red tie on. Now that I'm older, I listen to a lot more like indie rock type of stuff also that I found on my own, like Arctic Monkeys, Mac DeMarco, Growlers type of stuff. Come together interestingly in what I make because it's somehow like vibey but also loud and in your face. This room was built as a guest bedroom, not a music studio. To make it sound better, I bought all these acoustic foam pedals. I read some stuff on the internet and tried to configure them in the best way possible. It's a work in progress, but um, I have on either side of the wall just like a good amount of paneling. Playing multiple instruments made me want to become a producer because I write stuff a lot and I'll write like the bass part and the guitar part and I obviously can't play those at the same time so I have to record them. It just really helps to sort of be able to just, like pick up an instrument and record it and then be like all right I want a guitar part over it and just pick up my guitar and play that and then if I want to add anything else I could do that myself. I've produced two songs that were already written my role was first of all recording it and then after that it was adding in the drums and bass and any programmed MIDI sounds. But when I'm sort of more collaborating, like co-writing a song or something, there's generally already an idea, but go back and forth with what we're hearing, like what do you think should happen next. This is a song that I've been working on for a little while. Um, I started late this summer, maybe like August. I came up with the like bass riff that was the foundation of it when I was working on just kind of like walking bass lines with my teacher. I was playing the bass line and I realized I kind of liked it if it was a little more like syncopated and like swingy. So I kind of changed the vibe. This was the new bass part. It's not too different. But it's a little more like in the pocket. Then I kind of had like a new idea for where the guitar could go. And I kind of added this more like power chord, like rock type of thing instead of the more like ambient, like chorus effect guitar. So I started like with a cleaner type of guitar and then recorded a bunch of more like distorted guitar parts. I went to the 2017 summer high school program and I really loved it. Like the holistic take on the music industry was something that really appeals to me because I like to do a lot of things, like when I'm doing a project, play a couple of instruments, I like knowing the production side so that way I could do that. I like to know the business side so I know what's going on around me. Um, I don't like to like limit myself to one thing and that's like really unique that they're willing to teach all of that in one major. Instead of like breaking into the industry by like getting hired, I kind of want to be able to just do it on my own. <laughs> 